There were gr- gasps today as the man accused of the mosque attacks pleaded not guilty to more than 90 charges of murder, attempted murder and terrorism. Brenton Tarrant was beamed into the High Court in Christchurch via video link and smiled as his lawyer entered the not guilty pleas this morning. Families and survivors who came to court told Checkpoint they were upset at the police and the community was devastated nearly three months after New Zealand's worst terrorist attack. Annika Smith was at court and filed this report. I'm very upset from the court. Why he said I'm not guilty? Why? Why? Emotions overflowed outside the Christchurch courthouse today as the families of those who died in the mosques emerged. The man accused of murdering their loved ones had just denied everything. Armed police guarded entrances to the court today, an unmarked armed offenders squad car at the ready. Inside, the accused appeared on a television screen wearing a grey jumper. His cut lip had healed since his first court appearance. Mental health reports found Brenton Tarrant was fit to plead, instruct counsel and stand trial. One of his defence lawyers, Shane Tate, entered not guilty pleas to the 92 charges. 51 murder charges, 40 attempted murder charges and one of terrorism. Outside the court, those injured in the attacks and the families of those who were killed try to make sense of the hearing. Among them, Dida Hussein, who lost his uncle in the attacks. When I came here, it's totally heartbroken because I lost the people. I lost our friend. Every Friday I go there, I sit down the person. Today Friday I'm going there, he's not here. He's not with me. All of them, 51, all of them. Tamal Atachudu, who was shot nine times in the Al Noor Mosque but survived, was also here today. He wasn't surprised to hear the accused plead not guilty. Not surprised or what he said he is not guilty or whatever he said. And we are strong. Tight security and briefings with the families and media ensured the appearance ran smoothly inside, but it wasn't without incident outside. After the hearing, a man appeared to make race-related threats, telling the Muslim community they needed to be more respectful. Ask for a bit of respect. Oh, do you have a problem? You dirty bastard. But Abdul Aziz, who famously threw an FPOS machine at the alleged shooter as he fled the Linwood Mosque, was quick to stand up for himself. You find that some dogs around, you know. They tried to uh, back up the white premises. What did he say? Uh, ah, you should leave white premises alone. The police stepped in and the man was taken to the police station next door. The families eventually made their own way home. Almost three months to the day since the mosque attacks, they now face a long wait until the trial in May next year. Yama Nabi, who lost his dad in the Al Noor Mosque, is worried about how it will affect victims. It's going to be hurtful for every family, if it's a witness, or I don't know how it's going to work, but it's going to be hurtful for family to, you know, do a speech or... because they don't need any more, you know... They've got a broken heart. Many of these families say they'll be back when the accused next appears in August for a case review hearing. They say being there is important to stand up on behalf of those who can't.